person. Yeah, I know this person. Yeah, I know this person. So though, I couldn't go head on with me, with her. So just um, I just um, ignored it. She took um, it seriously. In, uh, she took it personal. Oh, personal. Yeah, she took it personal. What was her problem you know, with like, it? I noticed that. I noticed that. I noticed that each time I post about anything about women, something. You know, like the so it's not like I'm portraying women in the in the wrong way or something, but just saying things that happen. Mm. You know, things women do. Mm. She's always picking on it. Okay, she gets so defensive. Think, uh, yeah, she gets very, very defensive. Like she doesn't talk about it. like any of that in a post. I don't see her comment. Mm. But whenever I post anything that has to do with women, yeah. Just like the last thing I posted, she would just pick on it, um, you, know, uh, you know. She feels I'm looking down on women, or I'm too, um, uh, I, I'm, I'm cognize women so much, and all, but I don't, you know. Yeah. So the post happens. That's what happens. That's what happens in this life. It is. You can't pretend that that's not what happens. Yeah. yeah. So, so you know what? Um, some of us are, are just not objective, right? Once, yeah, yeah. Once we we have an an idea in mind, or once we have an experience, we use that to color everything else that we everything. see. Yeah, yeah. That's why you see some yeah. people will be posting things where they will say men are always or all men are this and all men are that or all women are this and all women are that, you know. And maybe she's defending herself, right? But then you're not talking about her, isn't it? Exactly. I wasn't talking about her. I wasn't even, I didn't even generalize. It was just somebody like a man and a woman I was talking about. Anyway, I know um, I know what her problem is. Like I told you, I know her a lot. I know her to, to the house. Mm. So I know what her problem is. So I, I always ignore her. Yeah. Have you noticed that... I, I, I think that a lot of us aren't conscious of the fact that all these things that we do where we make it where we we do as if we want to defend our gender or we want to we have a lot of that out there and what yeah. that what that thing is doing is that it's causing more divisions between us it's causing us to be less trusting it's causing us to feel as if we are on opposing sides whereas yeah, exactly. how can we work together how can we because two cannot work together except they agree so how can I, unless I am not planning to ever have good relationships with men, you know, if I keep exactly. on, yeah, if I keep on feeling like it's men against women or it's men against women, that means I am not planning to ever have a relationship. I don't, I don't even know that song. I don't know why people do that. We against them, us against, not like, what are you doing that for? At the end of the day, we can't do without each other. Exactly. What's all this fight all about? Like, yeah. So why do I want to go out there to prove one thing about us women or one thing about men? Why do I want to do, to actually go and prove anything that is not going to help us? If I if I go out there to say anything, what I should be doing is pointing out, okay, maybe men generally see things like this, but can you not see things like this because this is how it affects us? Well, women, you generally see things like this, right? Instead of just saying. The, these these people do this thing, and then, as if we should just start hating those people or start praising. Them. I don't, I don't. That's when I say the internet is quite dangerous now, right? Because everybody has access, and you just go out there and they teach nonsense, and people will be accepting these things and and be justifying everything that they do. Yeah. yeah. Fine. Destroying people's homes and yeah, the mindset. Destroying people's homes and mindset. Innocent, gullible people. Destroying, destroying people's. Okay, okay. Look at the other day. Someone sent me something. It was a, a woman that was saying that um, if you treat a woman right, 
if you love a woman right that she will never she will she will be the best you know she'll be the best and then one man now opposed this i made a whole video saying that this woman is lying that that is not true they now gave a story of how he did this and that and that for a woman and she ended up doing this and that for him you know that women are women are wicked women are callous women are this is that, 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 that and then people a lot of men came under that and they were supporting the men the man because they had also had the same experience so what are they now trying to say first of all they're trying to say that their own mothers and sisters and every woman in their in their life right <laughs> is bad right and also yeah and also they're trying to say that the people who have good relationships that all those people are lying or that they're mad isn't it it doesn't make sense so why don't you recognize that your own peculiar story and experience is your own peculiar story and experience why don't you look exactly look at we looking words how did this thing happen because sometimes sometimes it's that i mean if you if because that man said he did this and he did that and he did that and I, and I said but to start with why were you doing all those things you did the first one you did the second one you built a house for her she still doesn't appreciate you did this what does that tell you it tells you so many things you were doing those things because you were seeing that she wasn't showing appreciation she wasn't reciprocating and you were struggling to get recipro reciprocity from her why isn't that what it is it shows you that you can already see that this person is not interested in this thing but you 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 are still doing more and more and more when you could have left and been with someone else who was interested right but you're continuing to pursue something that isn't interested and then you do all this so that when the person now eventually leaves you unfortunately if she's the wicked type who takes advantage of you and takes all those things and still insults you on it it's something that you should have known because you saw everything you saw the signs from the beginning but if you're giving it to her why would she refuse if she's that type of person if she's selfish maybe she's just there to use you hmm? like if i have my um if I have to, if I have to go by my experience with women, yeah. normally, <clears throat> naturally, I will not even have one, one atom of trust mm. on anyone, any, mm. any woman. Okay, if there's a, there was a post I made some some days back that said my my trust line or trust. I can't remember how I put it. it was very thin. So mm, I, I, I didn't I'm, I'm see gonna, it. I didn't see the stuff. I, I just there was just a few lines. Okay. I was talking about trust. Mm. And I said mine was mine was very thin, mm. you know. And uh, of course, people will. Some people came up like uh, my experience. She don't do this. I should don't put it in my mind so generalize to do this one. I should don't. I'm gonna look for that post and tag you so you understand what some people said. Mm -hmm. If I go by the experience I've had, yeah, I will not even trust any woman in my life. Mm. Even though I still have um, trust issues, mm. I still have trust issues. Due to the things I've passed through, yeah. But I try not to allow it to spoil my relationships mm -hmm. by not bringing it in. Mm -hmm. It's in my heart. It's still in my heart. You get? Yeah. Now, of course, I can never erase from my heart. Yeah. It's still in my heart, but I don't bring. It, I don't bring it in, except the person I'm with does something that will trigger it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Except the person I'm with does something that will make it trigger it and make me remember it. I've passed through a lot of, a lot of people have hurt me in the past, you know? Yeah. Ladies. <laughs> so but I don't I don't use it to generalize. So you're a lover boy. <laughs> yeah, 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 I yeah. am. You said so, I yeah. Am. I love to love. Which normal normal love, people love to love. Love to love, to love. <laughs> I love to be in a relationship. I don't do I don't like I don't do 
here and there, random stuff and all. Mm. I don't, uh, I'm not comfortable with all that stuff. It, get, it gets me confused. It gets me uh, mm -hmm. unsettled. I don't even know why I can be in a relationship with more than one person. Mm -hmm. I, can't even, I, can't even, I can't even manage it. Mm -hmm. So, except I'm not dating anybody, except I'm not with anybody, mm. then I can say, okay, whoever, whoever comes around, like, it's not a relationship, it's just to smash and go and all that. It's, it's, it's different from when I'm committed to one person. Mm. You get it? So, I don't generalize, but some people will have thoughts from any gender that will not be generalized. Whatever you talk about this support, they get so upset, they get so, you know, like, in fact, women are my friend. I have more female friends than male friends. Can we, um, what I say to people when, when I say that, I say to myself, this will, so does it mean that they've now decided that they're going to live the rest of their lives without anybody or that anybody that comes across or that they come across, that means their intentions will just be to use the person for the period that they can use the person for whatever it is that they want. They are never going to look in their, they're never going to want anything no, 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 real. No, 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 no. That, that's not what happens. Let me tell you what happens. Yeah. Most of the times when you see people come after, like, if, there's, if they look okay, like, let me say, they write something about a man, like, one man dumps one girl and all. Mm. You see, such people start, like, don't mind, they're all men are the same, this one, all that. See, those, those people, most of them, mm. they are not in any, relation, any kind of relationship. Mm hmm. They are not in a relationship. Oh, some are, some are though, some are because there was one that I was talking with. No. Yeah. Some are, yes. some are in a relationship that they don't like. If they have the opportunity, if they have, if they give them, they're not happy to be with someone else. They will be with someone else. They're, yeah, not, they're happy not happy with that with that relationship. Yes. Of course, that's so that's that's, that's why you be saying you be talking like that. Mm -hmm. Is that they're not relationship? They're not in a relationship. Or they are not. They are there, but they're not happy. But it, but it makes so no they're difference. Not, they're just hanging on. It makes. It doesn't help us, right? That's why I think it's. It's. I wish that people would understand. It's better to admit the truth of your situation, right? Because if you will admit to yourself that, because even if if you're in a relationship that you're not happy in, that's not enough reason mm. to be saying all women are this or all men are that knowing that you still want to find the one that you're going to be happy in knowing that if you had an, another an opportunity right now you would leave this one that you are in right so then instead of dealing with deal with the truth the truth is that you just haven't got what you want exactly. and also many times many times we we now, I heard you say this, so this is not, don't take this, um, I'm sure that you're not going to take this personal. What I know is that many times, the relationship that we're in, where something, the person ends up hurting us, right? If we look, yeah. if we look at it, we will see many times, just like I was saying about that man, things that we already know that we contributed to getting to that point where this person hurt us, right? Like buying all those things and doing all those things for this, this woman, that's not anything wrong. But the thing is, there's no way you can be doing things for a person, doing and doing and doing, when you're doing them because you're trying to impress her. That means already she wasn't impressed, right? So instead of continuing oh. and thinking, if I do this and do that, then she'll be impressed. Say to her, I can see that despite me doing this and that and that, you are still like this. So that there are two things that will happen here. She, she might lie and say that what you're observing is not true. But then you, yeah, she might lie or she might tell you it is because of so, 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 right? But if it's an yeah. honest girl, what she would actually let you know is, even without you asking her, that all these things you're doing for her that she's still not interested right but let's just we won't talk about the honest girl because this is not who it is when they eventually hurt you that means this person deliberately kept quiet and allowed you to continue doing those things 
it's either because they were using you so why do you allow someone to tell you oh no what you're observing is not true you're allowing them to gaslight you right you can observe it by yourself so why would you listen when she says you oh no what you're observing is not true because maybe she has phone calls she has um she goes to places and all that and you're observing everything and you're seeing that this person is behaving as if their interest is somewhere else and when you confront them or when you ask them they will tell you that what you're saying and observing is not true why are you believing it when you've seen it over and over and over you know that means you're lying to yourself now right so so that's okay. yeah so that's that's us playing a role we need to come to terms with reality it, it hurts it hurts but if you're seeing it and it's real you've got to accept it that it's real you don't take her word for it when she's lying to you through her teeth she lies over and over and over because there was a guy who told me that this this girl will lie, lie, lie and then he will find out and then she will kneel down and start begging and saying every time she'll be begging begging when she has begged once twice you are hoping that it will change people don't change oh. people don't change there's a reason why people don't change well, well, the i think sometimes when people get hurt it's mm. not um it's not um uh solely that um uh the person contributed to to it mm, depends on how you sometimes mm. uh, so, sometimes like my case my cases it has nothing to do with trying to um uh, beg somebody or trying to get things for people to be happy and at the end of the day mm. this team is here you know it has not absolutely nothing to do with that yeah Those it's not always kind of like stories. that mm -hmm. um, sometimes you know there are so many things that uh, can happen like um, should i mute the mic sometimes so you can share something with me should i mute the mic Yeah, yeah, is the mic on? Yes, it is. If I mute it, then um, nobody who comes across this will hear what what it is that you tell me. Oh, okay. Is anybody listening? I don't. There's no one there right now. Let me okay. check. No, it's actually something that happened in the past. It's past. Just, okay. It's past. No. So, like my own, like one of my cases, one of my cases was. Uh, uh like a case of this it's, it's not like she didn't love me enough mm -hmm. but the it was like a pressure it was paid pressure from family mm -hmm. and they um they had uh more um that they hold over her more power mm. hold mm. over her mm -hmm. she had to bend mm -hmm. to the earth so uh, 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 well, there were lies, mm -hmm. but the lies were not in any form of, um, in any way, uh, geared towards cheating or doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. The lies were just to justify to to cover up the plan mm -hmm. that they had. Yeah, that she should execute. Let me just give you one. Yeah. Like this girl, uh, I remember I, I engaged her. We're supposed to be married. I've seen her. Oh, I'm so uh, sorry. Mm. Sorry? Hey, I'm sorry about that. No, this is a long time. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, I uh, saw so the dad, the mom, the mom is in the US. So it was in the US there. Okay, she stayed there anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I went to see her dad. It was very my engagement. She spoke to me, her plans and everything. Everybody loved me. Mm. The brother, the sister, you know. So um, somehow it was the mom that wasn't okay with the whole stuff because she had her own plans. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. You know, so she wanted to get to come to the worst. Yeah. So she didn't want any kind of she didn't want her to have any formal relationship in Nigeria that would try to hold her down and yes. all that stuff. Yeah. But I didn't know. Yeah. We are together. We find we are almost living together. Yeah. You get so somehow um you know she didn't want to travel 
because she was telling me the whole story was going on that her mom is trying to bring her take her to the US and she doesn't want to go. She has told her she doesn't want to go. Mm. She's pressurizing her. Her father has also, you know, but her dad wasn't that strong in the family because she was like the breadwinner kind of thing, you know. Mm. So and the mom, the father has also talked to her to allow her to do what she wants to do, mm. you know. But of course, she was, she was the breadwinner, like I said. Mm-hmm. So, um, the the mother didn't give up. She didn't want to give up. She was pressuring. When the pressure became so much, I now knew. I didn't even know this one. Mm. So when she, when she tested her. <clears throat> when she tested her, like, you know, he was telling her what to do and all. Uh, she was, she only advised her not to be coming to my house anymore. Mm. I think she were in my house. You know, we were just grooming her the things she would do. Mm. When she wanted to make passport for her, mm. that was in, uh, when I was staying in Port Harcourt. Mm. So she wanted to go to Lagos to do passport. You know, she told me that, look, her mom wants her to do passport. Mm. But she doesn't really need this passport because she doesn't want to travel. Mm. She's okay like she is. She was working in the bank then. So since she doesn't want to travel, she has said she doesn't like, uh, well, she's not listening to her and all that. But what would happen is that to avoid all this plenty stressing and all that, she would just go and do the passport in Lagos. Because mm-hmm. she said she knows somebody, the one that knows somebody in Lagos, that she should go meet the person and all. Mm-hmm. That please let her go and do the passport and, and get back so she can get out of her bag for a while and all. Mm-hmm. I said, okay, no problem. I booked the ticket for her then. And uh, this is a long time ago. Mm-hmm. It's a long time ago. <laughs> so I booked the ticket for her. Um, and she went to Lagos. I think she spent a couple of days, and uh, I took her to the airport. You know, and uh, when she was coming back, to, I went to bring her back. So after some months, you know, so all this while I didn't know. Um, they were still talking and all, but I remember one time I, I think somehow I bumped into her phone. And I saw a message from her mom um, about the things she shouldn't do, the things she should do. That she she's uh, that she hopes she does. She's not in my house anymore. Because of you, that yeah. She was yeah. Yeah. That she ensure she doesn't get pregnant. This one, that one. You know, so many things she was saying. Like oh, when I saw the message, like I, I called. I said, "What's going on? What's up?" I thought this whole stuff has stopped. Mm. It was just a passport thing and all. Now, what's going on? So she was not telling me that she's sorry that the mother kept pressuring her, everybody that like, she has even bought her brother, he bought her sister over and mm-hmm. that can actually talk mm-hmm. and say and all that. In fact that the pressure, they were just pressuring her and yeah. she's just trying to obey them, obey them and all. So but that she's telling me that she still won't go. She still won't go. She still won't go and all. Then, um, after a couple of months, she she told me she wanted to go to Lagos. That her mom wants her to go to Lagos to uh, do interview, like U.S. interview and all. Mm. I said, "What's going on? Like, what interview again? Like, how 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 come? How did this happen? Mm. For you to do an interview, you must have filled the form. You must have done all that. I didn't know you did all these things." Mm. She said that, that they did all that thing, all those things for her, and um, whatever, whatever. I yeah. wasn't okay with that. Well, she assured me that, okay, that what she knows about, she has not traveled before, but what she knows that if, um, um, if you don't pass the interview, they will not grant you a visa. Mm. That her intention is to. Um, do everything to fail the interview. Mm. And it was, this was 2000 and, this was 2010. Yeah, 2010 mm. or thereabout. Then I hadn't traveled, um, I hadn't traveled before. Mm. So, like, I hadn't gone far. 
that was just around Ghana, and that's Ghana and all those things I've traveled to. I haven't been to the US then, so I didn't know how they operate and all those stuff. So the time she was gonna travel, she told me the day she wanna travel. I even booked I had to even book ticket for her again. Mm. We saw what love was doing. <laughs> so yeah. I booked ticket for her. I I took her to the airport. Uh she got in and she said she was she was not gonna be long, she was gonna come back in two days' time. Uh, all this while I was like I was you know and I love a man, I was in love with this girl. I got so used to her too and we we're doing things together, but mm-hmm. for us like we we're virtually living like a man and wife. Mm-hmm. You get mm-hmm. and she went to Lagos and when she got when she got in she called me, she arrived and all that she's gonna she's going straight to her sister's place and the next day she was gonna go for the interview. I said, Okay, she's just be keeping me posted. Sure, yeah, you know, we talked next morning. She called me that she's going there, and I said, Okay, so then I said that she might drop her phone. They said she will not go in with phone in case I call her, I don't get on time. Maybe her phone is not with her, everything. I said, Okay, no problem. So, towards afternoon, I tried to reach her, couldn't reach her, so the phone was switched off. Mm. And then I said, Okay, maybe it's that stuff, you know. Mm. Then uh, I was at work towards. Evening, like when I was trying to close, so I tried to reach her again. I couldn't reach her. I tried several I couldn't reach her. Mm. So like around when I got, so I was going home then. I was still trying the car. I was I'm driving. I was trying. I was I go home. God stressed. Um, uh, freshened up everything. So then I sure I tried to reach her all through that day. I couldn't reach her. Mm. I became very worried. You know. Mm. So um. Uh, I was now trying to think of who I can call to you know the, the person she was going to stay in Lagos with. I don't have the person's number. And uh, okay, it was one of her younger sisters. So I have her number. So I tried to reach her. I said, Look, she uh, went to Lagos. I, I can't reach her on phone. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have the head from her. She said, No, that okay, let her try and reach her. So I think she later called me about that phone is switched off and all. I should try and, you know. Mm. I became very worried. Don't mention names, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. So mm. I tried to uh, name Camille. Yeah. So I was very worried, very worried. Okay. So the next, that, um, not the next, that next day I was talking about, I tried all through. I couldn't reach her. Mm. So I was very frantic, like, What's going on? You know, to start with, this girl left from my house. I'm the one that bought a ticket. I'm the one that took her to the airport. Mm-hmm. Like, if anything happens, um, it's going to be traced to me first. Mm-hmm. You get? So I became worried, very worried, like, what has happened? You know, I kept reaching the sister said she hasn't reached her too. You know, all through that day, I couldn't reach her. Two days, I didn't reach her. Huh. Three days, I didn't reach her. Like, I, my, like, I lost concentration at work. Look at that. I lost, I, I couldn't, I couldn't concentrate. There was nobody to, to reach out to, to know what's going on. Hmm. I, I was devastated, like I was confused. So I think it was the fourth day or fifth day, fourth or fifth day, I can't remember. So I was just in the office. So and I got a call. But the phone was the number was the hidden number, you know. So then uh, people used to take you know answer hidden calls and all. Mm. It's not like now, nah, people don't do that anymore. So I like I was calling with hidden number, or non number rather. Mm. So I just picked up the stuff, the phone like uh, hello. So when I was silent, I was like, hello. So she now called me. There's a name she has the name she calls me. Mm-hmm. So just she just mentioned the name. Right. So I just screamed at him, like, Yeah. Where are you? Yeah. What's going on? I've been trying to reach you how many days? 
where are you? Like, front um, three, I stood up from my seat. And then I was sitting down. Yeah, I remember I was sitting down. I just stood up, like, I was not pissing. What's going on? What happened to you? Mm-hmm. Just come down. Like, I was one just talking, 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 talking. The next thing she just said, I'm sorry. Hmm. I said, you're sorry. You're sorry for what? What happened? She said, I'm sorry. I said, what's going on? Why are you, why are you telling me? So I'm asking questions where you are. Tell me where you are. Where are you? What happened to you? She just said, I'm sorry. Hmm. So I called her and like, what's going on? Talk, talk to me. Are you in trouble? What's going on? She said, no, that she's not in trouble, that she's fine. I said, so what happened? So where are you? Are you are you back in town? Are you, are you, like you, you came back, you don't want to, because I even went to your office, you're not even in the office, so I, I can't even say you're back at work, because our office was along my office road too. Right. So I said, did you come back? I didn't want to come back home, because I saw, you know, I don't know what her mom said, mm. that she shouldn't stay in my house anymore. Mm. I said, maybe she has come back somewhere, she doesn't want me to stay out or something. She said, no. I said, so what, where are you? She said she's in the US. Imagine. Devastation. Like, like, it was like, I, I can't even describe how I felt. Like, mm. US, like, what, what US? Yeah. She said America. I said, how? Yeah. She, she said she's sorry. That she didn't want to tell you. That she's sorry. That she's sorry. I said, you mean you're in the U.S., like U.S., America? She said, yes. Mm. She said, please, that she forgive her. That she will explain mm. what happened. She will explain. Mm. I just caught the call. And uh, I think I closed that day. Mm. I, just, I just closed mm. from work. So I stayed with this girl. She was in my house. We were together. Oof. We were doing things together. She stayed in my house. She was planning to travel. She didn't tell me. She didn't do anything. Yeah. So um, oh, and she just, she just left. Yeah. And it was even later. Oh, she told me that I should look somewhere in my house. I, I would say a ring, the ring I give her. Wow. So she even dropped the ring. Is that telling me? Wow. So, you see this type of cases, like, I've had this case, like, two cases, it's two, mm. two, two that look like this. Mm. One of that one wasn't pure, um, uh, it wasn't like how this one played out. Mm. But in all this, yeah, it wasn't like this, but I've had this kind of cases like three. Mm. So imagine me now, like what I've gone through. Like, mm-hmm. you know, normally I'm not even supposed to even have any single trust for anyone because this, this were the women who were very close and very dear to me, mm. very close to my heart. Mm. I trusted, I was doing everything for, in fact, the second person. The second person, I don't even know if that one is even the worst or I don't, I don't even know if they are the same kind of treatment. Mm. I think that one is worse. I think that one is worse. <laughs> that one is worse because it was mixed up with, um, it was mixed up with cheating. So mm. that one is worse. Mm. So that's how it is. That's how life is. So a lot of people wouldn't know what's, what's up. But some people have experiences like like this, and they will just put it at heart and generalize and put their lives on hold. Oh, yes, ah, you, you've, you've done so well that you that you didn't take that attitude. Though. To be honest with you, mm. when I went through those three stuff, it changed it changed me. It changed my life. Like I became I became somebody else. About I was not gonna be with anybody, like to, to date anybody, to close or even getting married to, to anybody. I'm just gonna be doing anyone that comes, anything that comes. It's just short short time thing, whatever. I don't once I just don't see anymore. Mm-hmm. And, oh, yeah. You know, I did that for a while. I did that for a while. 
Yeah. But it wasn't healthy. It wasn't good for me. Yeah. It wasn't good for me. I, I can't be seen with different people all the time. Yeah. You know? That's so, why some people do that. Yeah. But it, it's still going to work against you at the end of the day. Because I, I believe yeah, that... Yeah, it's not something good. Because you know you're, that you're still not feeling feeling fulfilled. It's something that you're forced into. It's not something that you willingly choose. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's so painful. I'm so sorry. No, it passed a long time. <laughs> it's a long yeah. time. Mm. I was trying to, try to reach me after all, which is trying to get him back to me. Um, calling back, asking for forgiveness, this one. After some years, he was still calling me that, like, mm. I don't know, maybe he thought, I think what happened, uh, after some years, I think after, like, two years or three years, mm. he tried to reach me, uh, after trying to reach me initially all those times, every day and every time and all. Mm. So we took a break after us and all. So she just tried to reach me. Uh, she's calling me for something. I say, yeah, what's up? That I've forgotten that. I just passed. You know, she's like, she wants to call me for forgiveness. Mm. Like, forgiveness for what again? Oh, uh, that was quite easy. This is like three years back. Mm. Sorry? That was quite easy. I said, it was. It was evil. Big evil. Mm. <laughs> big evil. You know, so she was like, um, um, so, something happened or something has been happening to her. Uh, somebody spoke to her that she hurt someone. Things are not going well with her. She can't even have a relationship. She this one, I think it was about three after three. Okay, that's an interesting that one. Hmm. Sorry? I said that is an interesting one. So she was getting... She was getting the camera. Yeah, she was getting, Someone actually yeah, she was getting something. I said, she said, she doesn't know if I I did some, I cost her or I did, I said, cost you for what? What should I cost you? I didn't cost you. You know, why? You feel like she, yeah. she has not been able to be in any, any relationship, like strong or something. And that, that someone spoke to her that she hurt somebody in the past. Yeah. That she, this person needs to forgive you. If not, you can't have a good life. Or, and like, do you, do you know you what? Yeah. Yeah. The funny thing is that it's going to sound strange to you, but I actually, I know something that I could say now <laughs> that if, if she were to hear it, <laughs> that she, that's, um, yeah, actually, your forgiveness, your te- your direct forgiveness to her, and yeah. there's something that there's something that makes these things, these karma things happen. But I'm not going to say it because I, I really want people to to get their karma. I want them to get it. They need it. It's not that they deserve it or they need it. Yeah. So she reached out to me like she was like I should just like I said no I said you see I, I said you know I've forgotten about this thing like it's past it's been it's been, it's been a while and she said that she knows that she just want me to say it like she said I have to say it you that say it is not going to change it though like, that, that's what she said like they said you should ask him for forgiveness he needs to say it like yes I have forgiven you that's what she told me. I don't just like I've forgotten it. Oh, it doesn't work. That's like, only said, half of she, it. She that, She's not going to escape. It. That's only half of it. That she said it. Mm. Mama, like I am forgiving you. Mm. I said, no, sure, I can say it sure. because I've forgotten about the whole stuff. And I, and I said it to her. She sure. thanks me, thanks me, yeah. and oh. Uh, mm. mm. So I think after a while, uh, I think she got married. Mm. Uh, after a while, I think she did. Mm-hmm. But I think she's she's divorced now. She won't be, yeah. She's divorced. Yes, uh, because she's already created for herself. She has already created a human being 
that will not have peace in relationships. Do you know that? She's already created that by herself, for herself. Why how? Hmm? How? I can't say it because I don't want to help them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to help them because if uh... I do, if I do, then somebody's going to get an idea from there. So, yeah. I think people need it, you know. I don't want to help them out. They, they, they need it. Yeah, they need it. Everybody needs their karma and they also deserve it. Yeah. Sorry about that story. Now. It's about a long, a long time when it's passed. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the... Yeah. So one of the reasons why I say that we... We have a, a big, um, a huge role in creating these things for ourselves. Maybe I will talk about that another day, right? I mean, like, even for, for us, the or let me say for the victim, for the person who, who goes through, like, say for you now, right? But the painful part is that when I say that kind of thing, it is really hurtful that it really hurts that how can I go through something painful that someone else did to me? And then this woman is now coming to come and say that I had a, a role to play in it. You know what I mean? So it, they'll say that I victim blame. Come again, please. Yes. So if I say to a victim that you had a role to play in this thing that happened to you, it really hurts. Mm. It really hurts. But the reason why it's essential for me to explain it is because if, if they don't get it, then they are still liable to have those things happen again, right? So if I am nice by not telling them, here is your role in this thing, then I will be nice to them. They will enjoy the niceness, but I haven't done anything to help to prevent them from falling into that again. Hmm? Hello? I'm with you. I'm listening to you. Yeah. So. Yeah, so that's why I, I like to. The next. Huh? The next. Uh, the next. The next. The other, the other story is mm. quite um, funny and disheartening. <laughs> For you and this happening. Of course. Too. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do that. I'm gonna just do that, that one later, some mm. other time. Mm. Mm. Okay. I even contacted them. And to contact them is not easy. 
not easy at all. The email, nothing, no response. So yesterday night, I was able to find someone talking about it and saying that this is where he contacted someone and they responded immediately. And I, when I did that, I got a response within 11 minutes, right? But the response, yeah. the response doesn't say anything sensible. It just says, oh, that, um, just saying what you were saying that time, right? That if people are not interested in what you're saying, that you should check your content and all that. I say that is not the issue because my content hasn't, hasn't um changed you know nobody at all is seeing if, if they're even if you're getting to because we're saying if you're getting low views so if you're getting low views that's different this is this is not low views this is zero views <laughs> yeah i'll i'll bother them again right. now when i'm done yeah just just reach out to them again then if nothing happens just open another one just move on okay yeah. Okay, let me end this so that uh Okay. No, not you. All let right. me just end here first. Okay. If anybody comes across this later, I'm just going to end this now because I want to release my guests and then I will come back afterwards. And if you see this video anyway, so um and you enjoy that story and it it registers or uh, resonates with you one way or the other share in your in the comments and um, give it a like and and subscribe to this channel if you haven't you see that this channel is having some issues that's why we were doing a test but this, that was a real life story all right subscribe to the channel as well okay now bye for now